So we're now looking at example question three from physics part two. If you're randomly flipping around on YouTube and you found this video, it's better to go to the website first and watch the videos in the order they're intended to be watched in. What we're looking at here is questions where we move from one depth to another depth. More complicated than questions that are asking about a depth compared to the surface, but not a lot more complicated. The one, two, three process that you learned in physics part one can still be applied. We just need to do it twice. In the first round, we work out what would happen to that object if it was at the surface. And then in the second round, we work out what would happen to that object at the second depth given to us in the question. So we look at the answers. We look at the unit of measurement. It's PSI. We then look at the question, find PSI there, and our start point is the number of PSI given, in this case 10. Now we look at multiply or divide. What are we thinking about? What will happen when we go to the surface? Well, it's asking about air consumption in PSI. Are we gonna breathe through more PSI at the surface than we would at depth, or less PSI? Hopefully you're thinking, I'm going to breathe through less air at the surface than I would at depth. So we divide. Now, step three is always look at the depth. This time we're looking at the initial depth, the starting depth. The starting depth in the question is 50 meters. Using the depth pressure chart, we know that the atmospheric pressure at 50 meters would be six atmospheres. We can calculate now how many PSI of air this diver would breathe at the surface. It's only 1.6 PSI per minute. So round two, what are we gonna do? Well, now we have our surface air consumption rate. We can enter that in to step one of round two, 1.66 recurring PSI per minute at the surface. Well, what are we going to do next? We need to multiply or divide. So we're going from the surface down. Are we going to breathe through more air at depth than we would at the surface or less air? Hopefully you're thinking more air, in which case it's a multiply. How do we make it bigger? We multiply. Step three, what is the second depth in the question? The second depth is 20 meters. What's the pressure at 20 meters? it's three atmospheres. So we're going to enter that in, 1.6 recurring times three will give us the amount of air we would consume at 20 meters. It's five PSI per minute, it's answer B. So like my Facebook page, that's where you'll find out when I post new videos and give other guidance. You can find many more videos, practice questions and study notes at my website www.goprocaribbean.com and if you subscribe to my YouTube channel they will very kindly inform you of when I've released a new video.